Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, this is the third episode of Substance Painter series for beginners. So in our last video, we import our model in Substance and uh, baked our mesh maps. Today we are going to take a look at the materials, smart materials and smart marks. I have imported this table model in Substance. So on your left, uh, there is a panel and you can see all these materials. So first one is your material and uh, the next to it is your smart materials. So if you click on it, it's going to show you all these smart materials you have in your substance. And right next to it is your smart mask. So if you click on it, it's going to show you all the mask you have. So in this video, we are going to see how we can use these materials for texturing on our model and uh, how we can create our own smart materials and our own smart mask. So let's switch it to materials first. And to use all these materials, you just have to select a material and uh, then drag it down to the layers and drop it here in the layers, just like this. So when you drop a material in the layers, in the properties panel, it will show you all the properties you can change for this material. You can change the projection, the scale of this material and uh, all these parameters here. So let's try our material for this table. Let's try this wood walnut and I'm going to select this, then drop it in the layers. And now as you can see that the fibers of this material is not looking right. We need to rotate this texture. So you can just go here in the properties and uh, change the rotation like this to 90. And you can also change the scale of your texture. If it's not looking right, you can go here in the scale. You can either change it uniformly. You can just click on this uh, lock. If it's on, then the scale of X and Y will change together. You can just increase the scale here. So coming down here, you'll see this color. You can also change the color of this material. So you can click here and change it any way you want. Like this. And here are some other parameters for this material. You can increase or decrease the roughness here. And you can also tweak this texture. So you can also increase or decrease the rings in this texture. Like this. So that's how you can use all these materials for texturing on your asset. Let's hide this. So you can click on this eye icon here and you can hide your layers. Let's try a smart material. So you can go here in the smart materials, scroll down. Let's try a wood material. Let's try this wood box drop here. And now our wood material is applied on our model. And as you can see that fibers of this wood material is also rotated. So we just have to find this layer in this folder. So just scroll down. I think this is the one we can go here in this fiber and we can check by clicking on this eye button if this is the one. So we can go here and uh, rotate like this. Let's rotate all these wood fibers. And now it's looking better. And you can change and tweak all these layers in this smart materials. You can also change the color and add more grunge maps or add more materials. Let's change the color here. Something like this. So a smart material is a collection of different materials and layers and uh, grunge maps and uh, masks. So you can also create your own smart materials. So we are going to take a look at that now. So let's uh, remove this one. Unhide this. Let's change the color a little bit more. Something like this. 
now let's add uh, a new layer or we can duplicate this one so you can right click and uh, click on this duplicate layer or you can press ctrl d and let's change the color of it make it a little lighter and uh, we are going to add some edge damage so we have to add a black mask to this layer so what does a black mask do it creates a blank canvas for your material now on this canvas we can add any kind of grunge maps generators or even a paint layer to manually add texture or paint for this layer so right now we need to add a generator so to add a generator you have to add a black mask first so i'm going to right click and add a generator and in this generator i'm going to select this metal edge wear because we want edge damage for this texture here as you can see we have some edge damage here we can increase the contrast and increase the damage like this and you can change the color of this layer anytime you want if you want to make it dark you can just change it like this and you can also add more materials and more layers so if i want to add more scratches here what i can do is take a new fill layer so this is the icon for fill layer and if i don't want a color in my scratches then i can disable the color channel and this is a wood material so we don't need metal as well so i'm going to turn off the metal and we are not using any normals so i'm also going to turn this off so we can increase our the roughness of our scratches and uh, if i want our uh, scratches to be deep we have to decrease this height value or we can just do it later we'll see how it works first we need to add a scratch map so to add a grunge map we are going to need to add a black mask to this layer and then go to fill because we are going to use a texture map so we need to add a fill if we are using a bitmap so we can go to here in this gray scale and search for scratches and we'll find this scratch here and all these other textures or we can go here in this part of our panel and here you can also search for scratches or scroll down and uh, look for it manually so you'll see this scratch here and you can select and drag and drop here in this gray scale and now you can see some scratch but it's very subtle and uh, it's not showing any damage and for that we are going to have to go back to this layer and uh, decrease the height value and now you can see the scratches and the damage so the more you decrease the value more it's going to be deep like this and you can also make these damage bumpy if you increase the height value like this so i'm going to decrease the height value to minus 0.1 and as you can see that these scratches are way too big for this model so we are going to go back to this black mask and click on this uh, grunge map and here we are going to increase the scale like this and we have all these parameters for this scratch we can also increase the balance which will add more scratches and more damage in this layer and we can also increase our contrast to make these scratches more sharp we can also increase or decrease the scratch quantity so it's full now but if we decrease it then we're going to lose some of these scratches like this and you can also play with all these uh, parameters here if you want to decrease the scratch length we need to turn this down like this so as you can see that when we apply a grunge map it's going to be applied on the entire model but uh, sometimes we don't want uh, scratches in some areas like here inside this part so how we can remove them we can just select this grunge map and add a paint and uh, right now as you can see that if i paint here like this it's going to add more damage but if i press x on my keyboard then our brush is going to be in erase mode so if i press x then as you can see that this sphere is turned black 
and uh, now if I paint here then I'm going to remove these scratches like this so we can increase the brush size from here we can also decrease the opacity like this and we can remove some of these scratches like this So that's how you can uh, remove some parts of a grunge map or a material. So if I want to add uh, dirt to this model, we just have to create a new dirt layer or use a new material. So let's try both. So I'm going to take a new fill layer and I'm going to change the color of this fill layer to something uh, like sand like this. And I'm also going to increase the roughness all the way to one and just keep rest of the channels to default. I'm not going to add any height and we certainly don't need uh, any metallic value for the dirt. So to add a dirt on this model, we can either use a grunge map or we can use a generator. So let's use generator for this one. So to use a generator, we have to add a black mask and then right click add a generator. And for dirt, we are going to use this uh, dirt generator. And uh, as I selected this generator, then you can see that the layer I was using as my dirt is on the surface of this model here. And you can control this texture by going to this uh, dirt mask and increase and decrease the dirt level. So if I decrease it, then uh, you can see that dirt on the surface is going away like this. You can also change the contrast and change all these values here. So if I want to change the color of my dirt, we can always go back to this layer and uh, in the base color, we can change the color like this. So let's increase the level a little bit more like this. And now we have some dirt here, but inside here we have a lot of dirt, which we don't want. We can use the same technique to remove this dirt. We just have to select it and add a paint over this dirt and press X to change our brush to erasing mode, decrease the brush size and we can erase some of this dirt like this. And we can also change the brush we are using. So let's use this dirt brush and now we are going to erase like this turn down the opacity and maybe flow like this Now we have all these uh, layers in our layers panel. We have this base material, we have scratches, we have dirt and uh, all this damage. So now we can use all these uh, effects and uh, layers to create our own smart materials. And for that, what we need to do is we can select all these layers and then put them in a group. You can right click and go here in the group layers or you can just press Ctrl G and uh, here you have to rename this let's rename it as table wood or whatever you want to name it and then right click and here you'll see this option create smart material so if you click here it's going to create a smart material using all these layers and then add it to your shelf here so you can also use this smart material to texture all other assets so if i want to reuse this i have to just delete this layer and then I can select it and just drop it in my layers here. And as you can see that it's working fine. So that's how you can create your own smart materials in Substance Painter. So let's take a look at the smart mask now. 
and for that let's take another material i'm going to go back in my materials and let's use this wood american this time and let's rotate this texture to 90 and scale it like this and this height detail is uh, a little bit too overwhelming so i'm going to turn off this height channel like this and i'm also going to change the color to something like this so let's use a smart mask now so if i want to add a subtle dirt on the surface of this model what i can do is we can just take another material for this one so i'm going to take this rust course here drop it here on the top of this layer and i'm also going to change the color to something like this and also change the scale let's take five so if i want a subtle layer of this material on the surface of this uh, wood material i'm using as a base i can go in my smart mask and i can use all these masks so if i want dirt in my cavity so i'm going to select this and just drop it on this material and then as you can see that this material is going to be in the cavities of this model now i can remove this and remove this mask and uh, let's use this dust surface drop it here and uh, now you can see that this material is being used as a uh, surface dust using this mask and you can also use multiple masks at the same time so if i want dust occlusion we can select this and drop it here and if i want a surface dust i can also select this one and just drop it here and then these two masks are going to work together as you can see that when i applied uh, this surface rust my dirt mask is gone so if i disable this then i can see my dirt mask but if i enable this then it's gone so to use them together we just have to select this mask editor go to the blending mode and uh, change it to linear dodge and now we can see them together and they are working simultaneously we can go back here and uh, maybe change the color a little bit something like this and uh, now we can control all these masks together so we can go to dirt and just decrease the dirt level like this we can also go back to this mask editor and uh, decrease the balance something like this So that's how you can use uh, smart mask in your texture and you can also create your own smart mask so you can just select this black mask here right click and uh, click on this create smart mask like this and it will export this mask to your asset library and you can rename it here like this And you can use it anytime you want so if i just remove this mask so i have this surface dust we just created we can select this and drop it here on this material and now you can see that is working like before so that's how you can create a new smart mask in substance painter so that's it for today and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll see you in the next lesson Thanks for watching.